Hi, we're here at the Las Vegas Convention Center, the site of PowerGen International 2015, and joining me now is Steve Edwards, the Chairman and CEO of Black & Veatch. Mr. Edwards, thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Russell. We're glad to be here. You bet. Uh, uh, Mr. Edwards, there have been a lot of changes in the power generation market. It is evolving at a very quick, quick pace. What kind of business opportunities uh, do you see in the power generation market moving forward from Black & Veatch's perspective? Well, clearly we're having to evolve with the, the market. So we see opportunities with our traditional generation solutions, uh, in coal, mm -hmm. gas, nuclear. Uh, but we're also seeing much more in the air renewables and sustainable type options. So. Uh, depending on the where we're at around the globe, we see options in solar, wind, and biomass, as well as uh, additional hydro projects. I so see. This depends a little bit on where you're at going around the globe. We, we see work in all those areas. Yeah, and, and, and that's a good segue into my next question. What, what areas of the world uh, most interest uh, Black & Veatch right now? Right. Well, North America is a very strong interest for us. It's the largest part of the work that we do. It mm -hmm. continues to be a very strong market. And the growth we're seeing in, in North America is clearly with gas generation through advanced combined cycles. Uh, but we're also seeing a very strong a number of projects in, in the solar area mm -hmm. as well as some biomass projects. So those are the areas we're most interested in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Across the globe in the U.K. our primary focus is on the biomass jobs, yeah. and then as we move towards the east in GCC, mm -hmm. uh, we see a lot of gas and oil projects there, India, yeah. mostly coal, yeah. and then as we move into Southeast Asia, we see a lot of projects, both coal and gas are very, very active around Southeast Asia. I see. And then in Africa, it's mostly uh, coal-based projects, so continuation of subcritical and supercritical coal-fired projects yeah. in Africa. Yeah. As you know, here in the U.S., the, the power producers have been hit hard with, with a whole suite of regulations, the right. Clean Power Plan, new, new, new discharge standards for wastewater. What, what kind of, uh, uh, do those, those regulations, is this environment creating some opportunity for EPC firms here, here in North America? Well, I think you can clearly look at it as a, as a risk or an opportunity, yeah. and we're looking at it as an opportunity. And we see that the solutions we offer can help our clients uh, determine how they can best meet those new regulations and adapt their fleets to meet the needs uh, far out into the future. I see. Very good. Well, Mr. Edwards, thank you so much for your time. And, and thanks again for participating in the keynote session this morning. It was an outstanding session, and, and it was a great presentation. Thank Russell, you so I was happy to do it. Thanks for you having bet. us here. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.